Here we're given something called an accumulator, where you add up all the values of x from the distant past, from k equals minus infinity, until the present, until time n. And we're asked, is this accumulator invertible? Is it possible to invert this? Is it possible to find the input by observing the values of the output? Now, it isn't immediately obvious, but this is a well-known system. And if you look at it, if you take any two values of y, y of n, y minus y of n minus 1. So for example, if I said y of 6 minus y of 5, what would that give me? So y of 5 is a summation of all the values of x until the instant n equals 5. And y of 6 gives you all the values of x added up until the instant n equals 6. So if you subtract the 2, what you get is x of 6. So if you subtract y of n minus y of n minus 1, what you get is x of n. So actually, the system is invertible. because it's possible by observing the values of the output and manipulating them in a particular way to recreate the input. So if I can reconstruct the input from the output, if I can discover what the input was by observing the output, it means the system is invertible. And that's the inverse function there.